Hello everyone, my name is Myra and in today's video, I will be discussing with you guys how to start off your career in the DevOps or cloud world. So starting off, I have a few steps in my mind that I will let you guys know and I'll start off with the first one. So the first one would be to make up your mind. So if you're someone who wants to start a career into the DevOps field, the DevOps field is very broad. There's a lot of stuff in the cloud platform. And if you want to step into this career, if you want to step into the DevOps world, there's a lot. So first of all, you need to make up your mind that you're ready to get into the DevOps field. You will stay focused, you will stay persistent, and you will stay consistent. Consistent, Because again, I would say that DevOps field is, there's a lot. And you will need to learn a lot. You will need to gain a lot of skills. You will need to gain a lot of knowledge and you will have to gain a lot of experience again, you know, as time passes, as years pass by. So again, I would say the first thing would be to stay focused and make up your mind that yes, you have decided to actually get into the DevOps field and you're ready to do this. So the second one would be I have written down the steps. Yeah. So the second one would be to start learning. So once you have made up your mind, I would say start learning and exploring the field. So as I just mentioned, there's a lot to learn in DevOps. You can select one cloud platform, maybe just start with one. I personally started with AWS. Amazon Web Services. So in AWS, you can learn a lot of things from machine learning to storage, to databases, to containerization, to administration, to um, continuous integration, to continuous delivery, CI CD pipelines, you name it. And there's it's in AWS. So there's a lot to learn. So I would say as a second step, start gaining exposure, start learning about the services, start learning about these different services, the types of services, what they do and what you can do from them and how you can use them in your DevOps field. How are they integrated with each other? How, I mean, there's a lot to learn in DevOps as I just said again, but you can take step by step just start with one topic first you can there's a lot of documentation of aws if i just talk about aws there's a lot of documentation about aws and devops and cloud platforms and cloud tools online if you just search on google you'll find so many we have also several videos on devops and cloud on our channel and not only our channel but also our website which is claydes.com so you can also check that out but again i would say there's a lot to learn there's a lot to explore so the second step would be start exploring start gaining the exposure start learning what different tools are there in the devops field what uh what uh, focus do you want to have in the devops field do you want to go on to the developer side or more of the solution architect side so if you search up online azure aws gcp heroku there's so many cloud platforms you can select one and then start and focus on maybe one so as i said i did on aws i also recently started working on heroku a little bit and that is also a really great cloud platform but my major focus is on aws so i would say that you can um just focus on one f at the start level and then start gaining experience so the third step would be to start getting on the hands-on experience so now you're into the devs field you've made your mind you have started exploring the different topics the different resources the different cloud platforms so now is the time that you start doing the hands-on hands-on meaning go create an account on aws go create different um resources in aws for example an ec2 instance go create an ec2 instance then learn how to ssh into that ec2 instance how can you install different things on that ec2 instance so there are a lot of things once you get into it you'll find several things you can do in aws so many hands-on stuff and that's how you learn the experience so 
for example when i started i created an aws account again as i mentioned i went to different tools and and uh, services aws provides like storage we have s3 so i just created a s3 bucket a sample s3 bucket and i just uploaded a sample s3 object in it an EC2 instance, I created a free tier EC2 instance and you know, I just checked it out, how it works, what are its configurations, all that stuff. And just like that, we also have databases so you can choose different database. They have relational or non-relational non -relation, database. So for example, go create an RD, RDS data, database instance. It can be Postgres or SQL, any uh, um any database version so that's all up to you you know once you get into the hands-on mode you will explore all of the things you will create so many databases so many s3 buckets so many ec2 instances then you can also get into containerization like for example go create a docker container or docker image there's a lot to explore and then we also have the devops uh, the devops ci cd pipelines so there's a whole DevOps tool AWS provides you with code commit, code build, and code deploy and code pipeline. So, you know, go explore them, start your hands on working on them. So, there's a lot to learn. I would say it will take time. It's not that you just sit and, it, and within weeks you will be done with everything. No, it's not like that. It will take some time. As I mentioned in the first step, you will have to be consistent and persistent in learning the DevOps field as it's very broad and there's a lot of stuff. But in the end, it's worth it because you will learn and gain so much experience. So after the third step, which is gaining the hands-on experience, just to let you know, like you can gain hands-on experience through YouTube. Just search on YouTube on different projects on AWS or whatever cloud platform you're working on and then try recreating them, whatever steps they are doing, you also should do them. So that's how you can gain the hands-on experience. Other than that, you can also enroll in different online courses online. Just go on Udemy or Skillshare. We also have a course uh, channel on Udemy. Demi Clade as go check it out and just to mention over here um, we also are planning to upload a two hours long free DevOps fundamental course here on our YouTube channel which would be free for all of you so if you're someone who wants to get into DevOps field just stay tuned we will be uploading that course and that would really help you if you are someone new into the DevOps field so make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon so that whenever we upload you get updated but moving on after the hands-on which is a, which was the third step now we come on to the fourth step so the fourth step is to get certified so you know now you've gained all the hands-on you've learned all the ex you've gained all the experience you've learned most of the stuff about whatever plat uh, platform you've chosen so i would say the fourth step would be to get certified so in AWS, there are a lot of certifications. I've personally five times AWS certified. It took me some time, some years to get, gain that experience and get certified. But that would be you too one day. So it takes time, but you can do it. So I would say get certified and start off with the basic certifications. Maybe try giving the cloud practitioner first, which is like the really AWS basic fundamentals certification. You can just check that out try to give that certification and see uh, can you pass or not how much knowledge you have gained or not other than that i would also say once you're done with cloud practitioner you can start on with the other certifications like solutions architect associate or developer associate and once you've cleared the associate level ones you can also go to the professional ones like solution architect professional or devops professional and then we also have the speciality certifications but there those are also like top level once you've gained a lot of experience only then you can achieve those certifications but again by time you can achieve all of them so again get get your hands on and then get try to get get yourself certified now, I would say once that you're certified and you've also gained the exposure, the experience, the certifications, I would say, again, start doing more projects on your uh, platform, like for on AWS, try doing some bigger projects, 
create different pipelines and do some major projects so that you gain like a broad exposure of the of the uh, devops and cloud field so that and so now that you have like great experience now you can apply for a devops job so that when you get the job you already have the certification you already have the experience you already have the hands-on and you already have the knowledge so now whenever you can get an interview you can easily pass it and you can easily get accepted in any devops engineer position so after the certification, I would say do more hands-on and do more projects like gain experience online, go go to go do some major projects on your cloud platform. And once you're done with that, the last step would be to find DevOps engineer positions online. You can find them on LinkedIn. There's also Dice.com. There's also Monster. And indeed, there's so many job platform websites. You can check them out. And then you can search DevOps engineer positions over there. Whichever position fits your skill sets, whichever position fits your expertise, apply on them and then wait for the response. If you have the certifications, if you have the experience, people will get back to you. Companies will get back to you and you will get the interviews. And again, the interview process is not that easy it will take some time to actually you know understand the interviews get get to know what kind of questions they ask you what kind of experience they're asking for you know it depends on companies to companies so again it will take some time but once you reach this point you will have a lot of experience and you will have a lot of knowledge so in the end it will be worth it when you get the devops engineer position so overall i will repeat the step starting from the first one the first one would be to make up your mind and stay focused the second one would be to start learning and explore the field of devops and cloud platforms the third one the third one would be to start doing the hands-on and gaining the experience fourth would be to get the certifications and get yourself certified the fifth would be to do more projects and hands-on and the last and sixth one would be to look for DevOps engineer jobs, apply for them, and then start doing the interviews and you'll soon get the DevOps engineer position. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like me discussing about the steps you guys can take to enter into the DevOps field and then gradually get a DevOps engineer position. So comment down your questions. If you have any, we will be answering back to you in the comments and like subscribe to our channel if you are new over here make sure to like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell and then stay tuned for more videos